Hello everyone and welcome to Car Takes with Deborah and Joel. This is our Academy Awards edition. Uh, we're going to be giving you our uh, picks picks for the, what we think will win. Mm -hmm. uh, and in I, some cases what we yeah, wish although I, if it was I'm, I, I've added some people to categories. I couldn't think who to take off because the, this was an incredible oh, year. It, this was so difficult trying to... I And some of it was just like, well, you know, this one's a, a, yeah. a groundbreaker. Yeah. Because so they're all equal. Yeah. And, <laughs> and um, uh, yeah, it's impossible to take anybody off the list. Yeah. So that's why I can't get too upset. Yeah. I mean, there are people that I definitely wish had been nominated. But, the audiences win. <laughs> right. But but you but you start looking at the nominees, you go, who the hell would I take off of right. this list? So it's, it's, it was a great year. It was a great year. Um, yeah. So we're going to start, we're going to end with the big ones. We're going to start with uh, original song. And this one, I think the winner is probably going to be What Was I Made For oh, from Barbie. Oh, that's what I picked. Billie uh, Eilish. But my, my heart pick is for It Never Went Away from American Symphony which moved me very deeply. And if you haven't seen that uh, documentary, please do, because it's wonderful. Oh. And it did not get nominated for Best Documentary. That was crazy to me. But you know what? I was watching a Siskel and Ebert special, and they were complaining about the documentary feature people always seem to ignore the best documentary of the year. It's just, it's been their tradition almost. Hmm. So it's very strange, but American okay. Symphony is very much uh, worth yeah. Yeah, worth yeah. your time. I thought it would be funny if they picked. I'm um, just Ken. I hope they don't. But I thought it. Would well, be they funny. did that at the uh, Globes. <laughs> I know. Yeah. Um, okay. So we did best song. Okay. Now uh, for original screenplay, we have uh, Anatomy of a Fall, The Holdovers, Maestro, May December, and Past Lives. What'd you pick? And I think the likely winner is The Holdovers. That's what I picked. Um, uh, I've. I've uh, yeah, that that's. I I just think that's the way that's going to go. Uh, now for adapted screenplay, we have American Fiction, Barbie, Oppenheimer, Poor Things, and The Zone of Interest. Fabulous. And before nominations came out, I would have said something different. This is the one they're going to give Greta Gerwig. Barbie is going to win this. Um, I picked Barbie not because I think uh, I, I I do think it I it's probably going to win uh, because uh, w that was my childhood. Seeing it on the big screen was exactly what it was like when I played with all my yeah, Barbies, yeah. and so that best adapted. Yes, yeah, yeah. Poor Things was the one. It was I was yeah. Really, well, I mean, because I've never seen anything like Poor Things. Again, this whole category oh my is God. crazy yeah, great. There's no losers, and, and, really. Um, but I really do think that is could have gone another way before nominations came out. But I really do think that the fact that Greta Gerwig did not get a nomination is going to work for her for this uh, category. Um, international feature, I'm just mentioning because uh, it will probably go to the zone of interest. Um, this is Society of the Snow was building some momentum. It came out late in the season, and it probably could have ended up getting a, a, best, a regular Best Picture nom, like Zone of Interest did, but it came out very late. Uh, but Zone of Interest is probably the way that's going. Uh, uh, director is, we have Jonathan Glazer for The Zone of Interest, Yorgos Lothimos for Poor Things, Christopher Nolan for Oppenheimer, Martin Scorsese for Killers of the Flower Moon, and Justin Triet for uh, Anatomy of a Fall. I pick Christopher Nolan. Yeah, I mean, that's, that, it seems there, like there are two givens this year. Mm -hmm. That's one of them. And just put that in the bank. I did uh, also, uh, I was torn between all of them, but the, the two that I kept going back and forth, Yorgos Lathamos, who did Poor yeah, Things. Yeah. Uh, again, I've never seen anything like that. I thought it was brilliant. Yeah. But Christopher I would have, Nolan. I would have added Greta Gerwig, obviously, for Barbie, and Alexander Payne for The Holdovers. They got a Best Picture nomination. I mean, they're all That's insane. amazing. Um, supporting Actress... Emily Blunt for Oppenheimer, Danielle Brooks for The Color Purple, America Ferreira for Barbie, which I was so delighted that she got that. Yeah, me too. Uh, Jodie Foster for Nyad and Davine Joy Randolph for The Holdovers. That's the other sure bet. Davine Joy Randolph is winning for The Holdovers. That's, I think so. I picked Davine too. Yeah. Uh, but again, the whole category is but, crazy. Uh, yeah. Insane. A wealth of yes. uh, talent. Uh, embarrassment of riches, mm -hmm. as we say. 
uh, supporting actor Sterling K. Brown, which was another huge delight. I when that when they mentioned him, I could not. And actually, it's I've, anyway. Robert De Niro for Killers of the Flower Moon, Robert Downey Jr. for Oppenheimer, Ryan Gosling for Barbie, and Mark Ruffalo for Poor Things. All right. Okay, I said who I who I would want to get it would be Sterling K. Brown. Uh, I think Mark Ruffalo may get it. Uh, I think this has been most of the year in the bank for Robert Downey Jr. But I think the there's a very strong possibility Sterling K. Brown could take this thing. I would be very when I, happy. When I saw him listed, I thought, ah, uh, that... His performance it is... Was uh, it was great. It was absolutely it's, great. Uh, yeah, it, it's really quite brilliant. Again, this is a crazy yeah. category. <laughs> yeah, there's um, nobody you would say, uh, are they better? If, if I if I could have added people, I would have added Paul Meskel for All of Us Strangers and Willem Dafoe for Poor Things. I yeah. mean, there, but it, there's so many people. Uh, there's so many. Um, uh, for Actress, Annette Bening for Nyad, Lily Gladstone for Killers of the Flower Moon, uh, Sandra Huller for Anatomy of a Fall, Carrie Mulligan from Maestro and Emma Stone for Poor Things. Fabulous, fabulous. Which way are you going? I'm going with Lily Gladstone. I think that she's the likely winner. She went winner. right to my heart. Yeah. Um, Emma Stone was the other one that I went back and forth between the two because she had to... Uh, I mean, it was like she, she lived with yeah. a, a baby and then she lived with a five-year-old yeah. and then she lived that with That was a, the fiercest um, performance of oh, the year. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. But Lily Gladstone got right to my yeah. heart, which is I think I'm there's I think there's a dark horse possibility that Sandra Huller could come in and win this oh. one. So... Yeah. Uh, and if you haven't seen Anatomy of a Fall, it is amazing. Um, for actor, we have Bradley Cooper for Maestro, Coleman Domingo for Rustin. Again, another, that wasn't a sure thing. I was so delighted to see him. If you have not seen Rustin, see that mm -hmm. movie. It's great. Uh, Paul Giamatti for The Holdovers, Killian Murphy for Oppenheimer, Jeffrey Wright for American Fiction. What do you... Um, I... I I want Coleman. I think Coleman Domingo could win this. I really do. I, that was uh, he's uh, playing a real person. Um, I, it, again, it went right to the heart. It was so brilliant. Yeah. Although Paul Giamatti, I think, is going to. Yeah, Paul Giamatti, I think, is going to be the. It, again, this has been one where Killian Murphy has been the uh, all of them, all and I year. think three of out of the five uh, portrayed real people. Yeah, uh, but I it's think. I think this is is going um, Paul Giamatti's way. Although, uh, as much as I would love to see Coleman Domingo win, I think the other possibility that's not uh, uh, Killian Murphy is Jeffrey Wright. Oh, Jeffrey, so, yeah. Yeah, I mean, it's, it, again, this category, crazy, crazy. crazy good. And if I could have added people, I would have added Andrew Scott for All of Us Strangers mm -hmm. and Barry Keoghan for uh, yeah. Saltburn. Yeah. I mean, so many great, yeah. great things. Yeah. Um, and our, the big one. Uh, uh, I don't best, think there's any question. Best picture. Um, yeah, no, I mean, this yeah. is, uh, Amer <laughs> American Fiction, Anatomy of a Fall, Barbie, the Holdovers, Killers of the Flower Moon, Maestro, Oppenheimer, Poor Things, um, Past Lives, and The Zone of Interest. Okay, let's say it at the same time. Killers uh, of the... Oh! No, no, Oppenheimer. I think it's going to be Killers of the Flower Moon. I think Oppenheimer is the safe bet. I think the... I would not be surprised if The Holdovers won. I wouldn't, that, be, I wouldn't be surprised if... It, yeah, yeah. Yeah, but the, I think that... There's, the, the problem with Killers of Flower Moon is that it just doesn't seem to have a whole lot of love generally. Uh, I mean, in terms of like big... And it's respected, but it, has ne it hasn't been on anybody's list of possible winners so far. That's, well, it should. No, it's a great film. Yeah. Um, and... That's it. Oh, and I've, I didn't... Oh. Uh, on, on the Best Actress, I didn't list my... I would have nominated... Uh, Greta Lee for Past Lives, brilliant performance, and Margot Robbie, obviously, for Barbie. Um, so, yeah, I mean, there were some disappointments than the people that weren't nominated, but again, what a crazy and embarrassment of riches, uh, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, you know. Mm -hmm. So it's going to be a and great... And a lot of uh, glass ceilings are being yeah, uh, cracked yeah, and broken, absolutely. so I'm very happy about that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So uh, let's uh, see what happens, and... Uh, Go to the movies, folks. There's oh, there's so yeah. much out there, and there's it's there's several on this list. Uh, I have still not seen Zone of Interest, so that's that's high on my list. I only have seen of the animated features, uh, uh, Spider Man, um, 
which it's got a second part of the title, I can't remember, um, Across the Spider-Verse. And that's probably going to win. But Boy and the Heron is supposed to be brilliant. Yeah, I haven't I've seen heard that. It. I haven't seen it. Yeah. Yet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So lots of great stuff out mm -hmm. there. Uh, everything on this list, uh, see it. You're going to have a good time. Yeah. So the great, great stuff. So enjoy the Oscars, and uh, we'll see you guys later. Bye. Asa manani. Duolingo. Yeah. <laughs>